to start this look, I'm going to prime my eyelids with my concealer by Tarte. This is the Shape Tape Concealer in Fair. And I pop this all over the eyelid and just blend it out with the Beauty Blender. To set that in place, I then go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. For my Morphe palette, I'm grabbing one of the lighter brown shades as one of my first crease shades and using big circular motions and a large fluffy brush, I'm just introducing that into the socket of my eye and just slowly, slowly adding more product bit by bit. I may have forgot to put sticky tape on, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm just taking that from the lower lash line to the tail of my brow and gently securing that in place. That's just going to allow us to have a really crisp line when we do all of our blending. To add that bit more colour, I've gone in with MAC Soft Brown and I am doing pretty much the same thing as we did before, except I'm slowly dragging that down the outer V of my eye and over the lid as well. I'm then grabbing that brown shade from my Carly Bible palette and on a tapered blending brush I'm concentrating that through the outer V and that work and then working it through the crease as well. This is just going to add a bit more colour saturation to those brown shades that we popped on before. We're going to start to introduce the light mauve shade to this look and using that same tapered blending brush we are just going to softly place that colour on top of the brown so that they can fuse together and then taking my MAC 217 brush and this just dispenses colour really perfectly and helps to blend it out seamlessly at the same time so I'm just going to continue to do that with this brush and concentrate it in the outer third. To intensify that mauve shade, I'm grabbing the darker mauve in the palette and using the same brush, really focusing that on the outer third and then dragging it towards the lower lash line. Just continue to do this motion, adding a bit of product at a time as always um, until it's nice and pigmented and you can really see that mauve colour. Grab a pencil brush and mine's got some sticky tape on it. Um, just concentrate that even more so in the outer V of it. I find this just really helps to give the pigmentation of this colour that you need because it is quite faint and then blend it out with your 217 again. I'm now just going to grab my Stiller Magnificent Metals and this is in the colour Rose Gold Retro. This is my favourite part of doing this look, it's so fun. This little applicator makes it super easy to do and pretty much all we're doing is placing that on the inner half of the lid and just taking it to the crease. Don't worry too much about the edges because we get a tapered blending brush with no extra product and blend that through like so. And then we grab a little bit more of the mauve shade on your 217 and blend the rose gold with the mauve together. Just grab that light shade in the palette and highlight your brow bone. We're now going to do our wings liner and the way I like to do it is by starting with a straight line which starts from the end of your top lash line and you draw a line as if it's going towards the tail end of your brow. You then slowly fill in that triangular shape towards the centre of your eye and then draw the line and fill it in slowly across the top lash line. Instead of doing one continuous line you can also do tiny little sketches and then connect it all up. It's whatever works better for you. I just personally find that doing one continuous line works better for me. I'm quickly just conditioning my lashes and then I'm going in with mascara. I do this conditioning step first because it stops my lashes from becoming dry. I find wearing mascara every day can be a bit drying on my eyelashes. I am then applying these beautiful lashes from EXO Beauty. They are super duper lightweight and comfortable. It's the first time I've ever used these that I was really impressed so pumped about these guys. I'm now just blending in my Hangover X Primer by Too Faced and on top of that I am putting my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. As this is such a glam look I really want flawless skin so this foundation is definitely going to do the job. And then just blend that into the skin with a beauty blender. 
to highlight and conceal my skin, I'm going back in with my Tarte concealer and popping that under the eyes in the middle of my nose and above my cupid bow area. And I'm just blending that all out again with my Beauty Blender. For a cream contour, I'm just going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the best stuff for contouring. If you haven't tried it, I definitely would. It's so easy to blend and it's just creamy as anything. So yeah, I use that on my cheeks and then blend it all out with my Beauty Blender. And then I take a little bit of the product and pop it down the bridge of my nose, not the bridge of my nose, the sides of my nose um, to do a bit of a contour. I then blend that out and pop a bit of concealer in the middle of my nose just to kind of um, sharpen up that contour. To set my face, I am now going in with my Laura Mercier powder and I use a smaller setting brush underneath my eyes and then just a big fluffy brush for the rest of my face. Just back to the eyes for a mini, we're just grabbing a short shade of brush and we're just going to lightly smoke out our lower lash line. So firstly take that MAC Brown and just spread that across the lower, spread that, smoke that, blend that, either of those, um, on the lower lash line and then add the light mauve shade and then lastly grab that dark mauve shade and blend all three colours together. the skin I'm going in with my Kevin Aquan sculpting powder and mine is in the shade light which is perfect for fair skin. I am then going to add a bit of my Tarte Amazonian clay blush and just place that on the apples of the cheek really lightly. For highlighter I'm using my Becca Jaclyn Hill champagne pop highlighter and place that on my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose and underneath my brow bone. To line my lips, I'm going in with this Kylie Cosmetics Lip Pencil, and this is in the shade Posy K. So just line your lips first and then fill them in. This will just ensure that your liquid lipstick will last you all day. This colour is a little bit pinkier than the colour I put on top. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Queen B, but I find that they look really nice when you place them together on the lips. I'm actually obsessed with this colour. It's so beautiful and it ties in perfectly with our eye look. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.